How's it going, doggy people? I hope you all are doing well. Today we're looking at another video by, I believe this is American Standard Dog Training, which is really sad because this should not be the standard of any dog training. Um, here we has, have his fake little treat pouch, which I say is fake because a lot of people like this wear those and they never really use the treats. It's just for looks, so you can, you know, disguise what you're really doing with the dog, but that's just my opinion. Uh, so it's just called Correction with Direction. Um, in my opinion, you should redirect and not correct. You know, don't correct, redirect. Don't correct with direction. Pass me the package. Everything's good. So we have a dog, the same Rottweiler we saw in a video before. He has a prong collar. He has an e-collar on, shot collar. Back, why don't you come on in? Ow, ow, ow. The dog whined and whimpered a little bit. We're going to go back and listen to that. You're going to say, some people will say, you know, oh, I don't think it was the dog. That was the dog. And that was way too much of a correction. Things good. In fact, why don't you come on in? Person comes in. Ouch, ouch. Yanking back at the dog. The dog shows the whites of its eyes. It's lip licking. It's got its tight, stupid prong collar and e-collar on. Yes, he's not using the shot collar right now, but he's still really jerking on that prong collar. When none of this needed to happen. You didn't need to do that. If he gets up from his sit, then you're working too fast. You need the person to go outside. Not... You don't need to correct the dog. At the speed of sound, I said, you are not supposed to break the sit. You just messed up there. But the sh The dog messed up because you are incompetent and you put the accountability on the dog. You can easily prevent this from happening if you actually take the time, you actually use the treats, you actually know what you're doing, and you don't just rely on the last 50 years of training you've done with the military or police training whatever of how they used to teach you how to teach dogs if he's honest about it and he got rid of this and he just said hey i'm going to use pain and, and you know correction with direction this and that this and that and i'm not just using this as a tap then that would be one thing but he's not being honest just by itself means nothing it's a correction with direction no but it's a correction paired with the collar it's a it's a verbal noise that is becoming the conditioned negative reinforcer the, the 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 noise is going to be paired with that collar don't do that start doing this this is your job if you want to be in <laughs> this is your job and down even better everything's good in fact why don't you come on in now here i would say as soon as this person comes in he's getting up that person should go outside we take the dog we walk him over we reset them we walk him over with either their leash on a regular collar none of this garbage none of this nonsense no electric collars no metal prong collars, nothing but maybe a flat buckle collar. I wouldn't even use a collar, but maybe I would use a leash to make sure the dog doesn't bolt out. If the person comes in, I would have them go back outside, take the dog, walk them over to their spot, sit, and start marking and rewarding. I show how to teach dog not to bolt out the door on my channel as well. Um, if you go into the obedience, you can see that. But for now, the person comes in, he pops, person goes out, reset the dog, then have them stay there, start marking and rewarding some more so that way he continues to stay there. I just sit there, a couple of seconds go by, I mark and reward again, mark, give him a treat. Then we have the person come and stand in the doorway and I mark and reward. If the dog gets up, person goes back out and we reset. We continue to really reinforce this behavior. We continue to reinforce this behavior, make it really nice to sit here. And the person can just put their arm through the door or they can just stand on the other side of that little flap there. You notice that the door is not actually there. It's like, it's a, um, oh, okay, maybe it's a shade. Maybe I'm an idiot, okay, and, and it's a shade. But either way, if he comes in and the dog moves, we don't need to stay in there and be all macho and boss-like and say, you know, oh, we got to correct this dog who's coming in to sniff. I'd say, okay, let me just get his leash and his regular collar or his harness. And if if you know, we have this guy go back out, we just walk him back around. Or I'd even just, I wouldn't even have to get the collar and the harness. I would just use a treat or I would just call him back using my body. I wouldn't ever have to do this. God. Just messed up there. But the sh The fact that he just says that, no, dog, you messed up. So you get corrected. The dog, none of this makes sense to the dog. The dog doesn't know why he needs to sit here. He doesn't care why he has to sit here for people to come in the door. You know what? If this dog was really doing his job as a guardian, you know, he would keep people out. But, I mean, that's beside the point. Just by itself means nothing. It's a correction with direction. Don't do that. Start doing this. This is your okay, job. Okay, then teach him. Reward him when he's doing what you want. 
Rewards, you get further with honey than you do with vinegar. But people like this, it's all about staff sergeant. It's all about you do what I say because I say it, because I've been in the military, because I'm I'm the boss, because you're the slave, because I'm the master. That kind of mindset that is just so dangerous. If you want to be in a down even better, 